Hello, my name's Wayne Fa. I was named after my dad, so everyone knows me as Junior Fa, uh, the professional boxer, and this is Did You Know? I grew up in a house with uh, four other siblings, so there's five of us all together. Um, I have one older brother, two older sisters, and then there's me, and then one younger brother. Everyone knows me as a family man. I have a wife and two kids, and one on the way. <laughs> one on the way. Grew up in Papakura, whole life, uh, and did you know, I'm still the record holder for the under five 60 meter sprint in Papakura. And I went for a walk over there maybe a couple weeks ago. I still got it, still got it. So any five-year-olds out there ready for the challenge? Hey, you know where the track is. <laughs> Going into the athletics track was something that we like, kind of grew up with. My older brother was the man at sprinting. So I always brag about my records being at the um, athletics track, but my older sister and my older brother, they hold multiple records on the track. So second thing about me that you guys might not know is that um, as you guys remember back in the Just a Parker fight in February, uh, I walked out to Don't Worry, Be Happy. And that's one of my son's favorite songs. You know, he, he's got a few that he listens to, but that's one of his ones that he loves and it makes me happy as well. And so <clears throat> um, as a fighter, walking out to a to a ring, especially with that type of capacity, especially being like the underdog and the guy who's like supposed to lose. The best thing for you um, in that situation is just to remain calm, as calm as possible. And for me, that's thinking about my family, that's thinking about my son, and that's being happy. And so that's one of the main reasons why I chose that song. It's just so I can also feel relaxed walking into a very hostile environment. Um, also, my son has autism, so there's a high chance that he's probably not even going to notice the fight. But if I play his song before I walk out, there's a chance that he might actually, you know, stop and listen and watch his dad. So yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I've done it too. With my son having autism, and with um, autism in general um, being such a huge part of society, um, it's kind of overlooked. Uh, you, you, you don't really know autism unless you like really like dive into it or like someone really close to you has it, then you kind of learn what it is. But if it's not around you, then you don't know at all. Um, and so I am a passionate advocate for it. And I try and bring awareness to, you know, autism towards other people just so that they can understand, especially our Tongan community, especially our um, Pacifica groups. Number three, uh, everyone knows I got hands. Ev everyone knows I got hands, but also these hands aren't made just to, you know, knock people out. These also produce fantastic art because I actually uh, play a bit of piano. You know, I, I play a bit of piano here and there. Well, my first teacher was uh, my mum. So my mum, um, she's the one that actually plays piano. Uh, I think she's the only one that plays piano in our house, like, properly. And then there's my little brother who's like really, really good at piano. Even though I didn't know how to read music, I still played piano at my primary school. So for the, um, so for, for different plays and for choir, um, I would either be in the choir or I would be playing the, uh, playing the keyboard along with the um, play or, 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 or just alongside with the choir, which is something that not many people know, yeah. Thanks for listening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now you know more about me.